Hey guys, this is JNT, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We're getting close to finishing off the Ice Temple, I think. Well, that was interesting. Let me guess. Yes. They will not. These, uh... Ah. Uh. These eyes will not... They will not open when we look at them. So we have to face away from them and somehow still shoot them. So I think we can use the rope like a reflector. Yes. And that way, shoot both of them. And that'll probably get us a small key. Yes, it will. And what do we have to fight now? Another yuk? One. A yuk and oh, two ice piece. Okay, the ice keys seem to be keeping their distance. So we'll leave them for afterwards. I don't care if I have to use up one of my own bombs. Trying to fight two ice keys. And avoid a yolk is not not going to work too well. And that opens up the other door. Perfect. Big red ruby. How many rubies can we even hold in this game? Apparently a lot. Ah, here's an interesting little thing. We did something like this before, stand on the peg to get up to the next height. And now it's just kind of a repeat of that same, same system. And here... Typical video game thing. Cross the ice bridge without falling off. And now we can get to that chest. And I'm not even going to try to go back and cross the bridge, because I can just grapple. Grappling hook. And we found the boss key.
We've already got lots of hearts. Give us some ammo or rubies or something. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Alright guys, I know that this has been a something of a short episode, but um, the boss is coming up and those battles sometimes tend to take a while. So I'm going to end the video here and next time we'll go ahead and fight the boss of this temple. Once again, my name is JMT and we are playing through The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Have a great day, guys. See ya.